everyone, my name is Alex. Um, so my last video I showed you guys how to set up a grippable actor in uh, C++ and Unreal Engine. <coughs> um, so in this video I was going to show you guys how to do the same thing in Blueprint. So you, so you may be wondering, so I have it open right now to this page right here um, where it's got the, B, the uh, BP pickup uh, cube and the motion controller pawn and all that. Um, so you might be wondering why I would even bother to make this video if they kind of already provide some of the things you need. Um, and there's a, a couple reasons. One, I think it's good to, you know, know how to build it yourself or at the very least understand how it works. Um, and the second reason is the way that the uh, BP pickup cube works. If I go and show you in here, uh, it works a little bit differently than how I did in C++ and there's a reason for that. Um, you can actually see that uh, the way the BP pickup cube actually works is you actually run a uh, an event um, in the cube itself rather than on the actor side like I did in C++. Um, and the reason I did that was because w if you're ev if you ever go into uh, networking in Unreal Engine, you you know you want to uh, set up a dedicated server, or multiplayer, or anything like that, um, it tends to not work well. And the reason being is that um, when you're um, when you're setting up the multiplayer, there's certain actors and objects that have the ability to move things around uh, on the server side, um, especially on dedicated server. So when you run it on the uh, on the player, the player has that direct connection to the server. It can change positions of things as you go along. So later on, we can update that event um, or function in C++ case, um, and, and it'll be a little bit easier to make it so we can grab something on one client and, do, and then affect it on another. Um, and again, this is, uh, or at least I will say, this is kind of situational. If you're not making something that's multiplayer, this really doesn't um, matter. Um, but if you are looking at, you know, potentially saying a multiplayer or anything like that, this is something you want to keep in mind. Um, so I actually wanted to, um, I'm not going to use the pickup cube and I'm actually going to also jump into the uh, motion controller and everything so that way we can actually set up um, a, the, um, the, the grabbing and everything similar to how it was in C++ in a way that it'll still work. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that right now. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create our grippable actor like we did in, uh, in C++. You can use the one in C++ if you want to. Um, you know, there's no problem with that. But I figured if I was going to go through and do all this, you know, show the gripping step in Blueprint, I would go all the way through and show how to, to set up the grippable actor and all that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I'll go and throw it here in the con, just in the uh, content. Actually, uh, yeah. No, we'll we'll go and throw it in here with the uh, other virtual AI blueprints. Um, so we'll create a new blueprint class. Uh, again, it's gonna be an actor, and we'll call this uh, grip. Uh, we'll call it BP grippable actor. Uh, that way you can differentiate between the C++ one because this is still all the same project um, so it does have to be named something different otherwise we'll have some problems later on um, so let's go and open this up uh, there isn't really much that we need to do here um, other than add a static mesh there it is um, and I'm actually going to set this as a root as well um, you don't have to it's up to you um, uh, you, you could have easily just left the default root. Um, it just would have meant that um, the mesh, if you ever repositioned it somewhere different in Blueprint, um, you, then the center might be a little bit off. Um, yeah. Um, but like I said, there's not, there's no need to. Um, next thing we're going to do is I already have the BP motion controller open, um, and I've gone ahead and opened up the function um, so in case you're unaware, if you go over here, um, this is the default BP motion controller over here in functions. You can see that there's um, grab actor and release actor. So I have both these functions opened up. They're their own uh, separate graphs. Um, we'll go and start with the grab actor. Um, 
So um, there's a couple of different ways we can go about doing this. Um, I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. Um, so we'll go ahead and go through. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a variable real quick. And we'll call this, oh actually, is there already a variable used? There is a variable already used. Cool, that makes things a little bit easier. So if you ever wanted to create a variable in C++, there's a variable right here. Um, and you can click on it and you can go over and you can change what type of variable you want. You can change the name, all this kind of stuff. Um, replication stuff, uh, some of this is just kind of uh, related to multiplayer and networking, things like that. So you don't have to worry about all this. Um, so we'll go and grab this because we will need this later. Um, I don't think we'll need to get it later. We'll, we'll just worry about the set for now. Um, then we also have the grab sphere, which is again already provided to us. So we can go and grab this. Uh, grab get overlap actors. There we go. Uh, so we'll want to get all the overlap actors. So this will get uh, all the actors that are nearby that are uh, set to overlap. And we're going to want to do a for each. And we'll grab this. Okay, so the one thing I kind of don't like about blueprints is for me uh, setting up the logic, like uh, this kind of logic is, it, it I find it a little bit more difficult than C++. Um, but we'll go ahead and throw it together. Um, I also need to set the class filter. VP, where's it, group actor, there it is. Um, but I'll still try and keep this as simple as possible. Okay, so let's first go and get a branch. Uh, yep, uh, just double checking. Um, so if, okay, so I do need to get the task actor. And task actor. So if it is equal to, so if you want to check if it's equal to null, just equal and you leave uh, the other part of the node blank. Um, so that's that's the easy way to go about doing it. Uh, so if true, then we're gonna want to grab this and attach it there. And I like to try and keep my blueprints a little bit clean while I'm going, just because it annoys me. Um, the only time I won't is if I absolutely don't know what I'm doing and I'm going to be jumping around a lot. Otherwise, it it's just kind of time consuming to uh, adjust the nodes. Um, okay, so if this is false, then we're going to want to compare the, uh, the distances. So let's go ahead, distance vector. We're going to want two of these, so I'll just copy paste. Um, so let's go and grab that. Okay, and okay, so this is where things will get a little bit interesting. Um, so I don't want to do this. Let's go ahead and grab the hand mesh. Ah, almost right. Get actor. Ah, uh, not actor location. Get what is the component? World location. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so we'll go ahead and set this for vector two on both, and then we're going to need to grab the attached actor. It. Mm, uh, no, because it's an actor. Um, get actor location. There we go. So that'll be our first one, and then the second one we're going to want to grab is this, uh, let me see here, I'm just going to bring this down, get actor, why can I not get the location of this? Okay, I don't know I'm not able to get from this node, the same node. Um, okay, um, that actually kind of helps me though, line up these nodes. Uh, let's go move this over here. 
All right, so, and then try to keep this a little bit organized. Um, so this is going to be the distance and mesh. So this is our current one. So I want to check if this one is less than that one. Uh, let me swap that because that's going to drive me crazy. Uh, let me double check if attached actors location is greater than him. Uh, yep, that should all be good. Um, and we'll go and branch. And then if this is true, then we're going to want to set attached actor to this new one. Uh, so we'll go ahead another reroute node and run that there okay and then once we finished um, I'll go ahead bring this up here probably wasn't the most elegant way of doing this but it will work okay so once we finish uh, we first want to branch and make sure that um, attached actor is equal to something Not equal so there we go and then what we're going to want to do is if that is the case I'm going to take a couple reroute nodes over here and attach component um, actually there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna want to do isn't there um, ooh, Jesus uh, let's go and grab this and move it up a bit okay um, actually let's first cast this because I'm also remembering we're gonna have to disable physics um, so we'll go and cast this to BP reflector there we go so we'll do that first First, go ahead and put that in there, get rid of you, and we will parent you to the hand mesh. Uh, so this will uh, attach um, the BP grippable actor to the hand mesh, um, and we want to set all these to keep world. Um, the reason being is that um, if we set it to keep relative, it will actually position it wrong. Um, it'll basically take its current world coordinates and then put that in for its relative coordinates, which can put it in a completely different spot. Um, so yeah, um, you want to set it to keep world, so that way it will keep what its world coordinates were and just adapt that into its new relative coordinates. Um, so next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, let's go ahead and get some more reroute nodes here. Um, and we're going to want to get static mesh, not set static mesh, I was not paying attention to that at all. Um, actually, let me do this. Go and grab that and set simulate physics. So in this case, we want set simulate physics to be false, um, which reminds me off to go into the grip locker and set simulate physics to true. Uh, wait, wrong. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I went through. Um, I did not forget anything, uh, which is good. Um, and just to explain, because I realized I didn't explain it that well as, as I was going through it, um, but essentially what we're doing is we're going to get all the overlap factors from the grab sphere, which is the sphere around the hand. Um, so we'll get all the actors that are nearby. In this case, we're actually filtering because we're looking for a BP grippable actor. Um, then we're going to run it through for each loop and we're going to first we're going to check right here to see if um, if attached actor is equal to null if it is then that means that there's nothing there we can just go and assign whatever it is we found um, or at least the first thing we found um, and then if and then if not, then we run down into the second branch. In the second branch, we check the distance between whatever we currently have stored and the new uh, actor. And we're essentially looking for 
to see if the new actor has a smaller distance and if it does then we want to take that one because we're looking for whatever's closest to the hand mesh um, and then up here uh, once we've gone through that for each loop we have hopefully found something in the attached actor so first we'll go and check just to make sure we did um, and if we did we'll cast it to a BP grippable actor um, which is right here then we will attach it to the hand mesh and then we will grab the static mesh and set simulate physics to false. Uh, the reason being is that, and I explained this uh, briefly, but if we don't set simulate physics to false uh, and physics are running on the actor, uh, it essentially creates an issue where the, the actor itself is still trying to fall as you're moving it around. So it will still kind of follow your hand around um, but not right. It will keep falling to the ground uh, while you're holding it. So it might still like move um, on the floor around this direction, but you won't be able to move it up and down because it'll just keep spazzing out and falling to the floor, which um, doesn't look right. And it, uh, yeah, it, it's it's probably not what you want if you're looking to grab something. Um, so with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and go into the release actor which will be a lot simpler um, essentially all we need real quick is first we'll need a branch uh, I can't do from that branch okay uh, and what we'll want to do in the branch is we'll first want to make sure that this is not equal to null um, so we'll first just make sure this isn't equal to null and if it isn't equal to null then what we want to do is we'll want to grab it and I'm going to go and grab some reroutes um, and then we will go and cast to BP grippable actor we'll go ahead drag that from true um, and then we're essentially going to want to undo what we did here so rather than attach actor to component what we're going to want to do is detach okay so I'm pretty sure this was right. Um, I know some things don't completely translate from C++ to Blueprint. Um, I believe this is right. Uh, if it's not, I will come back later and uh, fix myself at the end of the video. Um, or I will leave myself some, or I will leave some sort of caption here just to say, hey, I screwed up. Um, um, but yeah, uh, that should work uh, and we'll, I also set these to keep world because uh, again we want it to once we release it to go back to the same exact spot that it was um, and then we also want to uh, static mesh can I not get it come on I saw it there we go there it is that's what I want and set simulate physics and we want to set this to true um, so, and then that should all work out just fine. We're going to pause save that. And before I forget to, um, I also want to go over to here. And why can I not so simulate physics on you? Oh, you know, I don't think I can until I put something on here, can I? No, I cannot. Um, so we'll go and set the, I was going to set this anyways for the default one. Um, but, um, you know, once I place it into the scene, but. Oh well, um, this works just fine as well. Uh, and I went ahead and checked to make sure simulate physics was true. So um, we'll go and compile this. Uh, I'll go ahead and reset the scene for the blueprint, uh, the blueprint um, stuff, and uh, then we'll be all good. All right, so I've gone ahead. Um, I have real quick. Let me show you. Um, I have reset. Um, I put in the motion controller pawn and the uh, grippable actor so everything is all set up again um, good news is uh, the detach from actor was correct uh, <laughs> um, so there were no issues there um, so let me go ahead and show you real quick how this looks uh, go ahead and hit play and so if I go and jump over here you can see I can grab release and uh, oh the uh, that bugged out but uh, yeah, you can see that uh, it's all working just fine. Um, it's all working as it should. Um, 
but yeah so uh if you if you like this video uh like subscribe um really help out a lot and uh yeah